Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. All of time's meaning is here, neither seconds nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things, cradle songs of comfort and arms not by teeth. This is the place from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. In this place is their doom. I can feel a great age ending. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor centuries.
this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and love is not by tea. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting him. Good day, Master Corvo.
care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. laughter, and, and they, they sing, sing the old songs, laying arms. arms. But that, that was from a happier time.
Havelock stopped in earlier, but I forgot what he wanted. He's waiting to see you, I believe. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property.
Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. was again quiet, although Father had by then sunk into deep depression. It was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life, she who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin.
You know, I tried to attend services with the overseers for a while. They've just gotten more and more, I don't know, rabid about the seven strictures and witchcraft and all that nonsense. Attention Dunwall citizens, be advised, the river crust infestation has spread downriver, as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. What can I do for you? Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. 